Today we are doing the assignment that says identifying characteristics of a quadratic practice. Go ahead and put your name and your class period on there. You need to go ahead and out, have out your calculator and you also need your journal. So as you're working on this, it might be helpful to look back at your notes at say parts of a quadratic graph. So these are all of the characteristics and key features of a quadratic. So we are going to do one together and then you will finish the rest of it on your own and it will be due at the end of class. So let's go ahead and look at number four. So y'all turn with me to number four. Identify the key characteristics features of the graph below, then give the value of each feature characteristic. So here is our function, y equals 2x squared minus 16x plus 30. So this is in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So if we look at our graph, we're going to look at all the different things. So let's look at the vertex. So remember the vertex is the point where it changes direction. So that vertex, whenever you write your coordinate pair x, y, you look at the x-axis first. So it matches up with 4 on the x. Then you look at your y-axis, matches up with negative 2. So the coordinate pair here is 4, negative 2. Then let's look at all the other things. Is this a maximum or minimum, this vertex? It's the bottom of the barrel, so that would be your minimum. And we want the minimum value. The minimum value is the lowest. The lowest here is negative two, which actually matches with the y value of our vertex. The axis is symmetry. That's that dotted line. Go ahead and draw your dotted line down the middle, which goes through your vertex. When you write your axis symmetry, you write it as x equals the x value that it goes through. So in this case, it's four, which if you look, it's the x value of your vertex. Your y intercept, so it's where it crosses y axis. We can't see it here, but it is our C value. This is your y-intercept. It is the C. So we could write this as 0 for x, 30 for y. And so what I want you to do is I want to show you that on your calculator. So go to your calculator, go to y equals. We're going to put this in 2x squared minus 16x plus 30. So it looks the same, right? So it's somewhere up there. If I hit trace, look how it gives me that y-intercept, 0, 30. Every time when you have a graph and you hit trace, see where my finger is? It will always go to your y-intercept, which in this case was 0, 30. You can arrow and you can find different points on the graph. You can look and see what's that lowest point. And if we were to round that, that'd be 4 and negative two, which is our vertex right there. Number of roots, zero solutions. So remember that's your x-intercept. You actually have two of them here. There's one and there's one. So we have two. If it never crosses the x-axis, you would say it's none. Numeric value of solutions, we're going to go ahead and write those as coordinate pairs. So since there are two, we're going to have this. So they are at 3, 0, and that's 4, 5, 0. Then we we need to finish this out. So domain is all real numbers. This goes on and on forever because we're talking about this graph right here. I can only see part of it, 
but if I were to zoom out, I would see more of it. It's not ending right there. So that's why it's all real numbers. The range, the range is your y value. So we start with y, and we are going to look at how low does it go, which actually refers back to your minimum. It goes down to negative 2. If it's a minimum, then it is at negative 2 or greater. So we're going to say greater than or equal to negative 2. Go ahead and finish the rest of this, turn it in, and you do have a Delta Math extra credit assignment that you can work on.